Hey guys, I wanted to throw together a quick uh, screencast just to show you how I managed to display different logos based on different screen sizes. So here's the effect. In the top left corner you can see the Modules Unraveled logo, and as I scale the window down, uh, once the menu on the right meets the logo, the words are going to disappear, just like that. Then as I get even further, as soon as it would take over the next logo, uh, it drops down and the words come back. And then as I keep going down, um, the menu changes to the drop down, and then uh, that's all we can see here. But if we switch over to like an iOS device, then the words disappear again. And this works when you rotate the device too. Um, words show when there's space, and they don't when there's not. So this is um, kind of a hacky workaround. I'll go ahead and admit that. But um, basically, what I've got are two blocks that have the two different logos in them. So uh, we've got one with the logo spiral only and one with the logo text. They're exactly the same, but I'll go ahead and just show you all that's in the block is um, an href to the home page with an image source of the logo and then some alt text and that's all there is to it. Uh, these are both placed in the menu bar um, right next to each other um, and that's it. So the way I do this, um, I have it written in uh, my well, SAS file here, but CSS. Basically, uh, everything from here down is what's doing that. So we've got something with the max width of 399 pixels, block 7, display none. Now let's take a look uh, at our site, and you'll see, if I inspect this, that the one with the words is block 7. And if I bring it down so we can see the one without, then this should be block six right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So block six. So right now block seven is displayed none. Uh, so that's the idea. So I've got block six and block seven. And I just tell it max width 399, hide the one with text. And then between 400 and 699, hide the one without the text between 700 and 964, hide the one with the text, and um, anything 965 pixels and above, go ahead and show the one with text. So that's all there is to it. Um, I chose those breakpoints based on my design, which you should always do. Don't choose um, breakpoints based on a device. It's when the text would start running into the image, then it goes away, and when it runs into the image, things readjust. Um, that's the way it should be done. So I understand that, you know, hiding it based on the different breakpoints is a little hacky, but it works for me. And if you are interested in setting this up for your own site, hopefully this will help you out. Thanks.